Now, a 10 News Morning Original. New reporting, first at 6. Well, kids need playtime just as much as they need anything else in the classroom. That's what a new study says that was just released this week. Yeah, 10 News reporter Jared Aarons is in the 10 News Live Center. So, Jared, though, this study recommends a very specific type of play. It does, Virginia. Jason, good morning. The American Academy of Pediatrics just released this study called The Power of Play, and it says that unstructured free play is so important for kids' development that they're now telling doctors to write a prescription for it, just like they do medicine at every kid's checkup. At Rady Hospital's Alexa's Playful Learning Academy for Young Children. You're doing a great job. I like how both of you are working together on this. Free play is a key part of the day. That's exactly what children need, especially in preschool. Director Andrea Wilson says there's more than meets the eye when kids are free to explore. That's the opportunity for them to turn take, build empathy, um, use their communication skills, okay. learn to be team players. Life skills all reinforced by play, which the American Academy of Pediatrics says kids don't get enough of, especially in this age of shorter recesses and more structured activities. They're prescribing more play. I wish my doctor would prescribe that for me, right? Like Jessica Milton tries to give her daughter Claire the freedom to be creative. She's usually surprised by the results. It's not how I would put the pieces together, but if I let her do it, she comes up with stuff I would never even have thought of. Experts say parents should give kids choices and let them lead. You can play with this toy or you can play with that toy and then see what they want to do from there. But then also asking a lot of open-ended questions and and pushing that learning with them as well. The study says more play can lead to less stress, better brain development, and a stronger bond with parents. The kids just need a little push and they can do the rest. As the study doesn't give any specific guidelines as far as how much time they need, but it does say that even as little as 15 minutes can show positive results in development. In the Live Center, Jared Aarons, 10 News. We've arrived at a place in time where pediatricians have to prescribe playtime for children. That is very interesting, Jared. Thank you very much. Hundreds of students